Hi and welcome everyone. I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or blog for another card video. Today I have a quick tutorial sharing the Concord and Ninth Toucan Paradise stamps and dies along with a few other products that will be linked below and you can find them listed on my blog post as well. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to love this set as much as I do, but I absolutely love this set. So here's the Toucan Paradise stamp set, super cute, and I purchased the coordinating dies to go along with it. I'm going to get started by laying a piece of 80 pound cardstock in my stamp positioning tool and stamping the body using VersaFine on its black ink. So I found there is a trick to stamping the toucan. You can you want to stamp his body first, then die cut him, then come back and stamp his beak. It makes stamping the beak much easier. Now this information is over on the Concord and Ninth website and they have videos for each stamp set that shows you how to use them. And that's where I learned this stamp die cut stamp trick. I'm sure you have all seen these pump dispensers that I'm sharing here. They are perfect for the craft room. Um, it holds about 10 fluid ounces and it's perfect for water, stamp clean, or alcohol. I fell in love with these things when I found them and I just prefer them over a spray bottle when it comes to cleaning my stamps. I just find them to be more convenient. Okay, so I'm going to die cut the toucan using my sidekick. I've cut around him so he fits on my cutting plate and I secure him in place with post-it tape. Then just run him through the die cutting machine. Now I did stamp, twi stamp him twice but I'm only just using this one. The beak is two separate stamps. I align the first part of his beak and stamp it using the Simon Says Stamp ink in the color Jelly Bean. Then I align the second part of the beak and stamp it with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. He is such a cute little guy and he's a really good size too. He's measuring about three and a quarter inches in height and about two and one eighth of an inch wide at the widest points, which would be his beak. So I'm have a new toy. Well, it's new to me, I should say. The Gina K Designs uh, Wreath Builder. I love this thing and I recommend it to anybody who does not already have it and I can see me using it a lot and I love that it's going to let me stretch the use of my stamps. So since I have it, I figured I would try it out in this video and create a background to, for our toucan. So you're going to see me stamping a background to go behind the toucan. I'm going to speed through most of this for the sake of time, but I will walk through the inks and colors and a few other things while it's playing. So I start by stamping a palm leaf using the Simon Says Stamp ink in the color Jelly Bean. And I rotate the four by four piece of cardstock two turns and continue to stamp the leaf. Next, I stamp the frond palm leaf using Simon Says Stamp ink in the color Beanstalk Green. I rotate the cardstock two turns and continue stamping. I'm stamping the large flower using Hero Arts ink in the color Ultra Pink. And now I'm following that with the small flower in Coral Reef from Simon Says Stamp. So I place the toucan in the center of that panel just to get a feel for how it looks. And while I have him there, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the details on the breast of the toucan. And you'll get this little detail stamp with the set. And I'm just using Memento ink and the color Dandelion to stamp that. I've also decided that I wanted something else on the card to um, help cover up some of that there in the middle. And I thought that 
using VersaFine on its black ink and the palm leaf again would be a fun idea and I'm so glad I did it. It really does help him stand out. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start adding some small details with some small stamps from the Toucan Paradise stamp set and from this lovely little stamp set from Concord and Knight. And I'm just using colors Audrey Blue, uh, Dandelion, and I even do some fog ink from Simon Says Stamp just to fill in those white areas. So now that we have our background done, I want to get ready to start assembling the card. So I'm going to die cut the branch using Concord and Knight gold glitter paper from the Neutrals Glitter Paper Pack. I just cut a small piece of glitter paper and use it with a die. I use post-it tape to hold the paper and die in place on the cutting plate and then run it through the die cutting machine. I'm using KOTOR Creations foam strips and um, on the back of the branch and I adhere that to the stamped panel and I use 3D mounting foam to pop the toucan up off the card. Super cute. So I'm stamping around the edge of my card with one of the detail stamps included in the Toucan Paradise stamp set and using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And I'm not fussy with this. I just go to it and just let it happen. So I'm going to go ahead and add 3D mounting foam to the back of our panel and center that up on our card base. This card comes together pretty quick and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. Now I'm placing the sentiment there because I decided after the fact that I was going to stamp a sentiment in the bottom right corner. But right now I'm just using glossy accents and adding some Honey Beast um, Aurora Lights confetti around our toucan. And then I stamped the Hello Sentiment and touched up the E with a multi-liner pen. And I think that's a wrap for this video. So thanks for joining me again. And my hope is that you'll walk away from this inspired and ready to create your own projects. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. And be sure to subscribe to my website to have access to my videos before they are published to the public. As always, know I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.